This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. What Trump can do to be a successful president. Much hinges on the upcoming presidency of Donald Trump. Will he make good on his promises to drain the swamp? Question mark. Will he create a more peaceful relationship with Russia? Will he actually be able to build the wall? Question mark. Clearly, there is opposition and support for these and other initiatives he has in mind. Ultimately, the success of a Trump presidency must be based on helping all people. It must rise above the two party, left versus right, liberal versus conservative illusion. As many already know, the two party system is one in which the elite used to deploy the infamous divide and conquer strategy. The masses are split up and argue amongst each other, while the real power players pull the strings and maintain their quiet control over all political, financial, and social systems we have in place. The first thing Donald Trump can do to be a successful president is to continue questioning, and when appropriate, defying individuals and organizations that are lying or attempting to persuade him to align with the global elite's agenda. Trump has questioned the intelligence community's assertions that Russia hacked the election and continues to do so. It must be remembered that the CIA lies for its living. It is in the business of lying for the elite's agenda. The unfortunate reality is that the CIA has indeed been politicized and it appears that Trump is seen through the lies of these agencies and is instead, discerning truth from fiction. One former CIA spy has a very interesting view on this situation. Though it must be stated that Robert Steele isn't just an average former spy, as he has quite the resume. Robert worked for the CIA but left the to start the Marine Corps intelligence activity. He has pioneered the open-source intelligence discipline across the Department of Defense, Special Operations Forces and NATO. He has also trained over 7,500 officers from 66 countries in open-source methods and has over 18 years' experience in the U.S. intelligence community and another 20 years' experience in commercial intelligence and training. Robert recently said of Trump defying the intelligence community. As a CIA spy, I have faked intelligence, lied to government leaders, and managed a modest false flag operation, no one died. This is what CIA does. I accuse John Brennan, director of the CIA, of being a liar who is in betrayal of the public trust with his lies. The most recent DHS FBI report and related reports from small companies seeking to curry favor with the deep state are absolute crap. I am reminded of the 935 now documented lies told by Dick Cheney to justify a $5 trillion war and multiple occupations from Afghanistan to Niger. The U.S. media, very much under control, is both replaying the false narrative against the Russians, and strictly avoiding any independent commentary on the fact that it is U.S. traitors, not the Russians, who are the threat to U.S. peace and prosperity. It is highly likely that the neo-Nazi element in European leadership is conspiring with the neo-Nazi, neoconservative element in U.S. leadership, to start a war with Russia. War is a business model for the city of London and Wall Street, for the Vatican and the Rothschilds. Because even the latest intelligence report did not include any evidence of Russian hacking and was only signed by only three intelligence agencies, and not 17 like many are falsely claiming, it appears Trump has done the correct thing by siding with honest, credible intelligence experts and whistleblowers like Robert Steele, William Benny, NSA whistleblower, Ray McGovern, former CIA, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, and many others. A critique of the report has been published by Robert Steele and it can be seen here, the Trump intelligence briefing has no proof at all, assessing Russian activities and intentions in recent U.S. elections. To be successful, the second item Trump can accomplish is to make good on his promise to create a more peaceful relationship with Russia. In the realm of human rights and philosophy, transcending far above any ideological political structure, rests the, the simple truth that peace with other nations is paramount. What is important to note here is that a person does not need to support or even like Trump, or whoever. What must be supported though is the action itself. If peace is genuinely trying to be established, we must support this action. Again, this is mere human rights and goes far beyond political party biases. These two issues, 
standing up to the secret intelligence community and waging peace with Russia, are intertwined. Wayne Madsen, a former naval officer and now an investigative journalist recently said. What the CIA is doing in forcing Donald Trump into shifting from his campaign promise of restoring good relations with Russia to one of outright hostility to Moscow favored by the CIA, Director of National Intelligence and the neoconservatives within the Republican and Democratic Party establishments is nothing less than an overt threat to American democracy. If Trump stands up to the intelligence community, he will be breaking the stranglehold of the military-industrial complex on the White House. The third item Trump can accomplish is to end the two-party tyranny. We must move beyond the fascism of the two-party system that disenfranchises the 70% of all eligible voters, which directly led to 47% of eligible voters not voting at all in the election. Robert Steele has also documented and proven how the two-party system in the U.S. is rigged in 12 different ways. More importantly, Steele has proposed solutions to these 12 challenges, which is titled, The Electoral Reform Act of 2017. If Trump were to sign into law and begin educating the masses, with help, about the level of corruption that has been taking place to rig and maintain the two-party system, along with educating the masses about many other areas of corruption in government, finance, medicine, education and science, then the masses would come to see how the elite have manipulated reality to serve only the elite's agenda. True freedom and revolution would have an actual chance at taking root. In combination with Julian Assange's recent statements that 2017 will be an even bigger and more exciting year than 2016, Robert Steele has personally speculated that future batches of emails will expose pedophilia among high-ranking Republican members, as well as Republicans that are serving as agents of foreign powers or who are cutting major deals with Wall Street. The emails exist. They will be leaked. What this ultimately means is that for Trump to survive the looming crash of the Republican Party, he must connect with a large republic and be above and beyond any one party. He must establish himself as a true transpartisan president. The fourth thing Trump can do is take on Wall Street and the banks in a truly meaningful way. Debt renunciation or a debt jubilee, must occur. The student loan debt, medical debt and single mom credit card debt must all go. Michael Hudson a visionary and straightforward economist, has stated that a significant way for Trump to revitalize the middle class and the economy is to declare a debt jubilee. Trump must also sign into law the audit the Federal Reserve Bill, which Ron Paul and Rand Paul have been vocal proponents for its implementation. Such an audit would certainly unravel many secrets of the elite and would lead to further revolution. An audit would also lead down the rabbit hole of the global collateral accounts which is something Trump will need to address and begin educating the masses about as well. Finally, the fifth thing Trump can do is to create an open-source agency. At the base of the open-source agency will be open provisioning and open infrastructures. Among the practices within open provisioning will be the use and implementation of free energy through solar, wind and other practices, unlimited desalinated water supply using solar-powered desalinated water plants housing and revitalization of food agriculture without the use of GMOs or synthetic chemicals. Included in open infrastructures will be free internet and cellular usage. Using open source methods, completing the projects listed above will be done at 10% of the cost when compared to using current methods. The open source agency will also implement open government, open intelligence, and open media, which would create true transparency on all levels throughout government media organizations, and the intelligence community and will for the first time ever allow the public to trust the information coming from those three different areas. Not only that, it would provide accurate, up-to-date information and intelligence to every cabinet official and every congressional oversight committee, which would allow them to properly and openly educate the public on proposals and decisions. The former CIA spy, Robert Steele, is perhaps the world's foremost proponent for open-source intelligence and open-source everything engineering. With his credentials and expertise, he would be an incredible asset not only for the Trump administration, but for the betterment of the world. While there are certainly other areas that Trump can focus on to improve this nation and help improve the world, 
These areas listed above would address a wide range of issues that currently plague our world. If he chooses to utilize the people and methods outlined in this article, as well as implement the necessary changes proposed, Trump could actually improve this nation and our world in multiple ways. It must be remembered though that one cannot place all blame or glory on a single person. True change must come from a collaboration of multiple individuals and ideas. If you agree with some or all of these ideas for change, tweet this article at Donald Trump so that we can begin implementing the necessary changes our nation and world needs right now. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.